I'm going to use long division to calculate the answer to a question like this one. 33,396 divided by 23. The first thing I need to do before I can start the calculation itself is work out my different multiples of 23. To do that, I'm going to use continuous addition in a column method to work out the different multiples. So multiple number one is 23. I'm going to add another 23 to that to get my second multiple here. Two tens are two tens are four tens. Add another 23 will give me my third multiple, which is 69. I'm going to do one more for now. If I need to add to this list, once I've started my calculation, I can do. So I'm going to leave it open-ended so that I can keep adding numbers if I need to. So I'm working out my fourth multiple here, which is... Minus 2. Back up to the top. I'm going to write this all out in the usual way, like I was used to in Year 5, with short division. But the only difference is, instead of carrying numbers across, we will drop them down instead and it will work out the remainder for us. So, 33,396 divided by 23. So, we take one digit at a time, so imagine they're not there to start off with, and all we do is we move across the next digit each time. So, we'll start with the 3. 23 into 3 doesn't go, so I'm going to put 0 there. So I'm going to move across the next column now. 23 into 33 goes once, because twice is 46. So it goes once. 23 times 1, we put the answer to that underneath here. 23 times 1 is 23. Then what I do is I put a line under there and I take this away. So 33 take away 10, 23 is 10. Now we ignore these numbers across here now and we go straight down to this one. 23 into 10 doesn't go. So I'm going to bring down the next digits along, which is this 3. You know it's the next digit because it's where your line ended. So where you drew your line before, it's the number that's in the next column along. So I'm going to bring that 3 down and make 103 there. Now I'm only going up to 92 in my um, column addition here, so I'm going to add another 23 here to get the next number to check whether it's 4 or 5. So, 2 add 3 is 5, 9 add 2 is 11, so 115. So, 115 is bigger than 103, so it must only go 4 times. 23 times 4, 23 times 4 is 92, so I'm going to put that underneath the 103. Put my line in again, and then I'm going to subtract that to work out the remainder from this part here. So, 3 take away 2 is 1. Nothing take away 9 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from there. I've got a remainder of 11. 23 into 11 doesn't go, so I'm going to bring down my next number here. So where that line ended is the next number along, which is a 9. 23 into 119 goes... 5 times, because 5 times 23 is 115. So, 23 times 5 is 115. So the answer to that one there is going to go underneath this number, 115. And then I'm going to take that away here, which leaves me with a remainder of 4. And my last job is to bring down this number here and put it alongside. So that number there is going to go here, because 23 into 4 alone didn't go, but 23 into 46 goes twice. So the answer to the whole calculation using long division is 1,452.